Hi Mickey Shelves! Good morning! It's Tanya. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to introduce to you a few of my absolute favorite Studio Ghibli movies, but those movies are not very popular and I don't really see a lot of people talking about them even though I personally absolutely love them and I think that they deserve more recognition <laughs> because everyone is talking about House Moving Castle and Princess Mononoke and Spirited Away but I personally, of course I love those movies, of course I do, they are wonderful but I just like, I prefer other movies to them even more so and today I wanted to introduce to you those less spoken about and less famous Studio Ghibli movies The first movie I wanted to talk to you about is From Up on Poppy Hill The thing with most of these movies, I think, why they're less popular are because Hayao Miyazaki wasn't director of most of these movies Probably that's why they're not as popular as other works of the studio are. He still participated in some of them. For From Up on Poppy Hill, he wrote the script. From Up on Poppy Hill was actually directed by his son, Goro Miyazaki. And as far as I know, this film was critically not accepted well. I, I guess it's a good thing that I am not a critic, <laughs> because I could thoroughly enjoy the movie. And the best part of this movie is the visionary, like all visionary in all Studio Ghibli movies is just stunning and this is the thing with this particular movie as well, it's so beautiful. The, the film is about school children who have this kind of old house for themselves and they just have like different clubs in that located in that house. The president of their school decides to demolish the house and build something else on its place. And children, they don't want to do that because it's, it's their house, they want to protect it. And so it's the film about that, how they protect their house and also friendship. And it's just so beautiful and I love it so much. I honestly, from up on Poppy Hill, I highly, highly recommend it to you guys. And so the beautiful, the most beautiful part is the house itself. It is so detailed. The house was designed by Goro Miyazaki himself because I think his his kind of field of specializa specialization, his specialization, the thing he specializes in <laughs> is uh, backgrounds, and he did a wonderful job with that house. I love that movie. It's one of my favorite movies of like all time by Studio Ghibli, and I would highly recommend it to you. The next movie I wanted to talk about is The Whisper of the Heart. And again, Hayao Miyazaki is not a director. The director was another person, also from the same studio, from Studio Ghibli, but just, I, I, th I think it was time when Hayao Miyazaki was trying to choose kind of a person who would be director after him. And so this one particular person was a candidate for that. He was given this movie to, to make it. I think Hayao Miyazaki again wrote the script or produced, I'm not sure. The, the story is about a girl and a guy. So the girl wants to become a writer. She reads a lot of books, she writes songs, and she's just, you know, like a, like a book nerd, <laughs> which is very relatable. And so the guy, he wants to be a violin maker. They meet and they become friends and like just about their relationship and it's such a beautiful story and it's such a heartwarming story as well. Beautiful movie, beautiful story, wonderful, highly recommended. Next movie that I wanted to talk about is actually by another very renowned director in Japan. He is different with Hayao Miyazaki. He is like the style of his movies is very different. When Hayao Miyazaki makes something like like more of like a fantasy genre, right? Like House Moving Castle, Princess Mononoke, Kiki's Delivery Service. He makes more something about magic. This particular director makes more realistic movies. The director's name is Isao Takahata. So Isao Takahata already was directing movies when Hayao Miyazaki came to the studio. Not Ghibli Studio, another animation studio. I don't know the name. And so it was Sao Takahata who noticed Hayao Miyazaki. Sao Takahata is a brilliant 
brilliant director. He made he made such movies as End of Green Gables, animated movie. He made one of the most famous movies, Steel in Japan. Some of people told me that they actually broadcast this movie every year, I think, for some kind of celebration. So the movie is The Grave of Fireflies. Probably you, some of you already know this movie. I watched it only once and I cannot watch it again. It was brilliant, it was amazing. The story is so touching, but this is the reason why I cannot watch it again. <laughs> Just the end is heartbreaking. It's a movie about war in Japan, like the Second World War and like how people suffered. Second World War wasn't a fairy tale for anyone. The movie is heartbreaking and I guess everyone should watch it at least once in their lives. So if you haven't watched it, go and watch, but just, you know, prepare tissues <laughs> because you can cry a lot. Next movie that I wanted to talk about is Only Yesterday by the same director, Sao Takahata. And this movie is one of my absolute favorites. It has like a special place that no other movie can take. It is just, I love it so much. To be honest, the story is very simple. It's just a story of a girl who works in Tokyo as a journalist. And then she has her vacation and she goes to countryside. And she just understands, she figures out that she loves countryside and that she loves all this kind of working in the field. She loves the simple life. I really would recommend everybody to watch this movie. Only Yesterday is also very heartwarming, very beautiful. And it's so kind, you know, it's full with her memories of her childhood and like how these memories relate to her present moment. And she just kind of figures out herself, I guess. It's just a movie about self-discovery. I loved it. I loved it so much. I rewatched it. I don't know. I rewatched it at least every year once. <laughs> Another movie that I really, really enjoyed, and I guess it goes hand in hand with the first two because the director of this movie was, again, Goro Miyazaki, son of uh, Hayao Miyazaki. And this is Tales from Earth Sea. And this movie is based on the book by Ursula Le Guin, a uh, wizard of the Earth Sea. And that is the actually this movie is the reason why I really want to read the book. Again, this movie wasn't critically acclaimed. It was actually criticized a lot. But again, it's a good thing that I am not a critic <laughs> and I am not a movie specialist because I enjoyed this movie a lot and it's one of my favorite movies. And the last movie I, I wanted to mention is Wind Rises. And this one actually is a little bit different from most of his movies because it is more realistic. It's a story about plane constructor, plane engineer who makes planes during the Second World War. He is a very renowned Japanese plane constructor and so Hayao Miyazaki probably just wanted to protect his legacy and his memory. He said that he just could not believe that this person was Nazi. And in his movie he shows this constructor as this guy who is just completely absorbed by his work, who loves his job so much, who likes making planes, for whom making planes is an art, a form of an art. And this movie, was, I think it was criticized for this reason, because Japan was uh, on the side with Germany and so and this movie does not show like th what Japan did during the war it wasn't planned to to do that it was just planned to be a story of one person it's very controversial I mean the topic of the movie of course but I love the story and I love the main I like the main character and I personally We'll never know <laughs> what what type of person he was and I would like to believe that whatever he did maybe he did it not for bad reasons you know so I would recommend you to watch and make your own opinion about the character and about the story itself maybe you will be interested maybe you will research something more there you have it guys a few of my favorite Ghibli Studio movies that are less talked about and that are less famous than some other Studio Ghibli movies, but I personally find them 
one of the best. Now I just want to tell you a few movies that I haven't watched, but I really want to find like a DVD or something and to watch. First movie that I really want to watch is uh, Tales of Princess Kaguya by Isao Takahata. Also my neighbors, the Yamadas, really want to watch that movie. And the last movie that I haven't watched, again it wasn't critically acclaimed, but <laughs> as you might tell, me and critics do not always agree. <laughs> so I want to watch I Can Hear the Sea. Also a Studio Ghibli movie, but the, uh, the movie wasn't directed by Hayao Miyazaki. Let me know in the comments what movies have you known already from those that I have listed and let me know what movies were new for you. I would highly recommend all of them. And also let me know some of your favorite Studio Ghibli movies. Thank you so much for watching, I wish you to have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow in the next video. Thank you, bye!